The 991 Gen 1 can have two different thermostat housings depending on the model that you have. This video will show you how to replace both. One type has an inner seal that involves removal of the housing to replace. This video will show you how to just replace the thermostat as well as how to replace the inner seal. Here is everything you need to replace the thermostat as well as the inner seal, red arrow. You can easily replace the thermostat without removing the thermostat housing, but if you are replacing the inner seal, you will need to remove the housing. We will show you how to do both. Begin by draining the coolant. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task if needed. Remove the air box and using a set of hose clamp pliers, remove the clamp, blue arrow, and the hose from the top of the thermostat housing. You can leave the hand coupling in place, red arrow. The red arrow indicates the thermostat housing. We have removed the rear of the car for photographic purposes only. You do not need to remove anything else but what is stated in the article to perform the work. Use an E10 torque and remove the upper bolt holding the top of the housing to the engine, red arrow. Still using an E10, remove the three screws holding the thermostat housing in place, red arrows. If you are only replacing the thermostat, you can turn the housing 45 degrees, remove the thermostat gasket, red arrow, clean the mounting surfaces, blue arrow, replace the thermostat gasket and the housing gasket, lubricate them, install the new thermostat and reinstall everything. Torque the fasteners to 13 Newton meters or 9.5 foot pounds. Now fill and bleed the system. If you are replacing the inner seal, please continue following along. Remove the housing from the vehicle and take it to your bench. Remove the thermostat. Remove both the thermostat and the housing gasket, red arrows. The inner seal is pressed into the housing, red arrow. You will need a slide hammer with a hook end. Place the housing in a vise. Make sure to squeeze the vise only on the tabs, blue arrows, provided on the housing. Set the hooked end under the lip of the seal, red arrow, and working your way around, pull the seal out. If possible, place the new seal in the freezer overnight, then you can press it into the housing. You can also tap the new seal into place if you don't have a press. Installation is the reverse of removal. Don't forget to lubricate the gasket and torque all hardware to 13 Newton meters or 9.5 foot pounds. You must now vacuum fill and bleed your system. Again, please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. If your engine has a thermostat housing with the electrical connector, red arrow, on the housing, it is much simpler. You will still need to drain and refill the coolant as shown earlier. Use an E10 torque and remove the two screws, green arrows, and the cover, and then press in on the tab on the electrical connection and separate, red arrow. Remove the other E10 torque. There is a small tab or ear, red arrow, that you can use to gently pry the thermostat housing cover off. Do not pry or put anything between the mounting or mating surfaces. Remove the thermostat from the housing. Porsche indicates that you can reuse the seal if it is not damaged. I always replace it. If you are replacing the seal, remove it from the housing and give the area good cleaning. Do not use anything metal or sharp that could mar the mounting surfaces. Installation is the reverse of removal. Don't forget to lubricate the gasket and torque all hardware to 13 Newton meters or 9.5 foot pounds. You must now vacuum fill and bleed your system. Again, please follow the link provided at the end of this video for our article and video on coolant flush and fill. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.